Hi there, my name's Kathy. Welcome to my page. I'm a 72 year old saint artist. And on Mondays, I like to do what I consider a basic four pan palette, get ready with me. And I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks that I have learned in the year that I have been using Saint products. At 72 years of age, I didn't know that my skin needed help. I thought it looked good. What's funny about that is that I actually did a video the other night comparing one side of my face with what I used before and the other side using Saint. The difference was unbelievable. And that's the first time I have done that since I started on Saint. I honestly did think that the product that I was using complemented my skin. I found out it was the wrong color. I found out that because of the thickness of it, it was the wrong texture for my skin. And it actually accented and made my lines and wrinkles even bigger than what they were before. Today, we're going to do a very simple basic four pan palette to get ready. Now, Saint is actually a revolutionary product because it's a cream makeup. And we always talk about cream makeup being great for mature skin, but it works on all skin. So even if you are younger, you don't have issues with dry skin, even a teenager, you would be able to wear this. And I'm gonna share some of those tips with you. Today, we're gonna to be using a light application brush because you get to determine how much coverage you want. So if you're the girl next door and you really look in the mirror and you think, I don't have time for makeup and I've never worn makeup and I don't really care to wear makeup, but you know that you need a little something, this is the brush for you and we're gonna share that with you today. Today happens to be New Year's Day, 2024, and I'm getting ready to do laundry. So it's not like I'm going anywhere, I'm doing anything, I'm just staying home. So I'm gonna show you how you can do a quick look with just a minimal brush. Now for those of you that might be in my age category and you need a little bit more coverage, you're gonna to wanna to opt for the 3D brush. And that's normally what I use in my application all the time. So just understand that today we are doing a different application with a different brush. And if this all sounds confusing, follow my page. I try to put information on my page that is educational, that it is something that you will learn every single time you tune in. I don't want you to be bored. I think sometimes I'm just entertaining. At least that's what many of my friends have shared with me. And I try to keep things lighthearted and keep things moving along. Now, part of the beauty of Saint is that it has it starts out with a palette. Now, this happens to be a four palette, and I'm going to build it by using our product. Our product comes in these little metal tins. The base of this palette is magnetic. So they fit in there, they won't fall out. They've got a mirror here, which I'm trying to cover so I don't blind you. There's a mirror here, so if you need that, you can you know, look in that. At 72, I need the big mirror. So if you see me looking over here, that's because that's my 10X mirror. And I do need that to put my makeup on anymore. I can put my lip color on with a regular mirror, but to do the rest of this, I gotta have a bigger mirror. So I already have my eye makeup on and it's minimal. It is one shade of shadow and a little bit of um, highlighter, uh, not highlighter, uh, illuminator on my lid. That's it. I've done my brows, which is minimal, and I've put mascara on. So that's what you're seeing when you're looking in the mirror. My skin has been hydrated. I have used a moisturizer and have done my regular skincare this morning. So I hope that helps. Let me take a drink of my coffee while it's still hot. Isn't this the cutest mug? My daughter-in-law gave me this for Christmas. She knows I love dogs. And there's even a schnauzer on there because that's what I have is a schnauzer. Okay, I talked about the different size palettes. So I just wanna share with you. This is the basic. This is the one that will take four tins to fill it up. I almost always recommend that you go at least twice the size. That doesn't mean that it needs to get bigger. It just means to get fatter. 
So you'll have room for four colors on the top shelf, and then you're going to have another shelf below, and you can have another four full tins, or you can have eyeshadows. And that's what I do. My favorite everyday palette, which trust me, I've just taken out the colors we're going to use this morning. But this is my favorite palette. This holds six. So I've got six full pans at the top, and then this is my shadows. So everything is contained in one palette, and I'm ready to go. And that's what I use every day. But for you today, I am going to actually fill this as we go along. So I like to use colors from lightest to darkest. That may be a change for some of you who've watched some of my earlier videos last year. I used to always start with my contour. Now I start with my brightening shade. Our foundations, what you would call foundations, are called highlights. And this highlight is the lightest one of the two. We're gonna use two to create my face. This one is what you would call concealer. At least that's what I've called concealer for years. So I'm gonna take my brush and this is a light application, so I'm not pouncing, I'm swiping. And you think, well, what's the big deal? If I'm using the other brush, I am not swiping in my palette. I am stippling and picking up the product. So there is a science between the difference of these brushes. So I just want you to know that you are seeing a little bit of different application for me. Now the product is going on the same. You'll see that I'm putting it in the same spots I always do. And I'll explain that in a moment for those of you that might be watching a video for the very first time. Or maybe this is the umpteenth time and you're still trying to decide whether this product is for you. So we're gonna load that first color. So let's talk about that one. Saint is called three-dimensional because one color no longer makes up your face. We're gonna use various colors to create your foundation, but we are not gonna layer those products. So you're not gonna have layers and layers and layers that are laying on your face. What happens when you have layers and layers laying on your face is that they have a tendency to fall into the lines and wrinkles, and therefore it makes them more noticeable. So you can see I have minimal product on my face. I've put brightening shade down the center of my face, a little bit there on the cupid's bow, on my chin, my little marionette lines, they keep getting bigger as I keep getting older. And I've done a brightening shade here in the, in the corner of my eye and on the outside of my eye, and that's it, all right? Now, let's go into our main shade. This is our main shade. And again, I'm going to swipe on this one. And you'll notice, for those of you that have watched my videos over and over again, this is applying differently than what I've done before. And you'll also notice that I'm going over those bright spots. So those areas that I've put some lighter product I'm actually going over them again, but I have such little product on my face, you're not gonna see it. All right, giving myself a little bit of color here. When you look at my face without any product on, you do see that I have some redness. That has increased as I've gotten older, ruddiness in my cheek area along my forehead. And um, so it sometimes takes a little bit more product to cover that, but the other beauty of Saint is that the colors, you can't go by the color in the pan. In other words, if you were to look at this and look at my skin, you think that's not the right color. It's I use this color based on what I'm trying to camouflage. So that's the reason you need a professional color match from your artist, because she's going to be able to tell you and um, give you her recommendations on how to cover up those distractions that are on your face. Okay, there. All right, we're gonna put this one in my little palette here. See how that just snaps in? Now, the next color that I'm gonna use is one that I've never used before, Saint. And this is a contour. I always thought contour would take too long. I didn't see the need for it. Therefore, I never used it. So we're gonna use contour 
and I'm going to share with you that I put contour here right below that cheekbone. So if you feel your face, you've got a cheekbone, comes up here at the top of your ear, and my product is going to go right underneath that cheekbone. Now, keep in mind, for those of you that are used to the 3D brush, this will not give you the coverage. You're not seeing as much depth there. I have to build it with this particular brush, and that's okay, all right? I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead, and the reason we do this on your forehead, many of us, as we get older, our hairline may recede, just like a man's, and so we have a little bit more forehead than what we'd like. But when I do that, look how it calls the brightness to the center of my face, where I put that brightening highlight, you see that? And then I am gonna take a little bit with my finger and I'm gonna go down my nose. The reason I don't do this with a brush when I'm using this brush is because I can't quite get the placement that I want. So it's just easier to do with my finger, all right? And I'm gonna swipe it again. I'm gonna give myself a little coverage down here along my jawline, okay? I'm looking in my mirror to see if I'm getting it all blended. And then I'm gonna flip over to this end. This was the side that I put the brightening highlight. So look how I'm gonna blend that out around my eyes. The others have all been blended out, but this one I left to the last. Well, almost, we're gonna put some lip color on. But you see that? I have hardly any product underneath my eyes. Therefore, I don't have a lot of product there that's actually going to fall into the lines and creases. All right? Let's put our contour in our palette. Here we go. We have one more color to go. That's our lip color. Now, yeah, this is a bright lip color. That's because I like a bright lip color. I need I need a little bit of lip color. I need cheek color. And uh, this kind of brightens my mood. This one is actually, oh, I can't remember, a baby watermelon. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's not a winter color, but that's okay. I need a little bit of brightness in my life, and this does it for me. Putting a little bit, I. I'm from the 70s, so I do put a little bit on my nose sometimes as well. I'm gonna plop that in there. Now, to finish off my look, I almost always use a little bit of lip gloss. I find that it keeps the Saint lip color on longer, but I put it in the center of my lips. I don't go all the way to the corners, and I have built my four pan palette. I've applied my product with one brush, and it's a minimal look, but it's a nice look, okay? I'm looking in the mirror to make sure I got everything blended. And if you don't, you can just take your brush, swirl it all over your face. That product isn't gonna move. It's pretty well gonna stay where you put it, and it's done. Now, with Saint, we do wanna set our product. You have two ways that you can set your product. You can either mist your face with a setting spray, and Saint does supply a setting spray, but you can also purchase one, Milani, whatever. Uh, one of my favorites happens to be the Charlotte Tilbury. I buy it when it's on sale at Christmas, and I do love it, and I like to apply this with a brush. And the reason is that for me, it's not as drawing. So again, I'm taking my brush, I'm gonna go on both sides, and all I'm doing is going over my face. You may say, well, why don't you spritz your face? I could, and I did that for months. And then I learned this trick, which does a beautiful job. If I were using my 3D brush, which I do on, on almost all of the time, I would actually do my blending with a moistened brush. What I like about the Charlotte Tilbury is that it has a matte finish, so when it dries, this shininess that you're seeing, dewiness, whatever you wanna call it, is going to be lessened. And I like that better because it doesn't call as much attention to my lines and wrinkles. So there you have it. You have a magic four pan palette. You have one brush 
And basically, I have done everything but my eyes with this palette. This travels well, so if you're a person who does travel frequently, this easily packs. You can see how minimal this is. It's going to go in most purses for those of you. But I find that when I set my product in the morning and I'm all done, I'm pretty well set for the day. All right? Gosh, I didn't even do my hair this morning, but I wanted you to see just what a quick four-color look does with minimal application using the brush that we call the blend brush. And that's the blend brush, all right? If you've been watching these videos and I've been doing my own personal videos for about a year now, I began last January with Saint. If you've been watching these and trying to think, is this for me? There's only one way to find out. If you simply text the number, that's on your screen and text the word match. That will kind of start some communication between you and I, where I send you an application, so to speak. You're going to fill it out with some information. I like to know things about what's your favorite, you know, do you like gold or silver jewelry? I'm going to ask you some other ones. I'm going to ask you to take the all important selfie. And if you don't know what I mean by an all important selfie, I need you to stand indoors facing a window during daylight hours and hold the camera out in front of you. And so you're looking out through the window and you're holding your camera there and you are going to snap the picture. It's best if you can have a black top on, but I wanna see some neck. And so if you've got like a little t-shirt or something that you can wear, that's gonna show me what the neck color is. These Things all play a part in me selecting the right colors for you. And then you're going to send me your selfie. I need your selfie without any makeup on. No eye makeup. No anything. Absolutely bare skin. That way I can look at your skin and I can see maybe what are some of the areas that you might want to either highlight or recede. And if you want to send me a second picture of showing me how you normally like to wear your makeup, that's fine too. That helps me as well. But based on that photo and what I can see, and I blow that picture up so that I can really see, once I can determine what shades are for you, I will create your own four pan palette. I will send those recommendations back to you. I will include some recommendations for eyeshadows if you'd like for lip and cheek color is pretty, that's up to you, but, uh, and you'll be able to select those from the website, but I'm going to share with you a couple that are some of our best sellers because I know people are going to use them and you can determine how much you want to purchase. I do recommend that if you're just getting started, that you go slightly larger than this because it will allow room for expansion because I'm pretty confident you're going to love this product and you're going to want to expand your wardrobe and you're going to want to get to the place where you can keep all of your eyeshadows along with everything else in your palette. It's just an easy way. Instead of opening multiple palettes and containers in the morning, I open one and that's it. Everything is there. But if you want to stay with the four pan, there's nothing wrong with that. You'll probably transition and start using this palette for something different as time goes on and you're able to upgrade and get a larger palette. So I would love to be your artist. My name is Kathy. I'm 72 years old. I know you're watching a lot of people do videos. I get that. And I think it's important for you to select the one who looks the most like you on the other side of the camera so that you can relate. And I say that I have mature skin. Obviously, at 72, I have mature skin, and I know what I'm talking about. And I would love to be your artist. I would love to help you fall in love with Saint the way I have loved it and get a minimal look but still look put together. Thanks for stopping. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.